Avoid letting it just become religion. Something that you do. We're in life anymore. You know what I'm talking about? Well, there's a verse of scripture, one verse, Philippians chapter 3, verse 10, that I, I want you to see in that regard. Because when I was thinking about, you know, what to talk to you about, all the various things, see, I kept coming in my mind back to this, this issue of, of how, to keep, how to keep it from becoming religion and how to, how to keep it real. Now, Paul knew all about religion. Start at verse 3, Philippians 3. We are the circumcision, which worship God in the Spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. That's who we are. We've had a circumcision made without hands and the putting off of the body of the sons of the flesh. We, we've been identified with Christ in his death, and his death there has become ours, and his life has become ours, and we worship God in the Spirit. Now that means something. That means we're not worshiping God in the flesh. They have what they call praise and worship today. And I, I tease people about this. I'm not mad about it. I just, to me, it's just words mean something, people. And when you have, you used to, when I was coming up, you had a song leader. And you had a, he was a minister of music, he became. Now he's a praise and worship leader. When you look for you look in the back of the magazines where they where they got the want the job you know opportunities, you don't you don't hire song leaders anymore. You hire praise and worship leaders. I try to remember to stay back here. It's hard for me. I like to get out there where you are. Praise and worship leaders. Now think about that. If if while you're doing the song service, that's praise and worship. Now praise and worship is over, and we're going to have Bible study. Does that sound right to you? If we're through with praise and worship, then what's Bible study? Isn't that praise and worship too? I, for years, I've told people, you can't call the Sunday morning meeting the worship service. Well, we're having our worship service. I said, no, no, no. You worship God 24-7. Now my wife says, what is 24-7? 24, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't worship God one hour on Sunday morning. Worship, the word worship means the demonstration of worthiness, worth. What is something, how valuable is something to you? When you demonstrate how valuable it is to you, that's what the word worship means. And when you demonstrate how valuable the life that you have in Christ is, who God is to you, you don't do that one time a week. You do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, everywhere you are. And if I want to know how valuable the Word of God is to you, how valuable Jesus Christ is to you, your life in Christ, I look at your life. I don't look at what you do, prancing in here on Sunday morning, all dressed up and covered up and got it all, you know, you smile. It's how about life? Where's life? 